Sophie. This past year, with all of the crazy obstacles we have had to jump through, you have worked endlessly to ensure our perfect day would come. Things have definitely been hard this year, but I need Sophie and Brandon met at a friend's house in early 2014. That puts them at about 16, 17 years old. <laughs> and throughout the last six years have made decisions as individuals as well as a couple. As a couple that have led them to be able to say, why would I keep looking? I've found my person. The person who allows me personal growth, keeps me grounded, while also supporting my dreams, even if my head might be in the clouds, and has chosen to stand by my side, making great decisions, maybe not great decisions, but figuring it out together. So here we are gathered in 2020 to celebrate that growth as a couple and the love that has led them to choose marriage. Uh, Sophie, coming up with the words, Coming up with the words to describe my love for you is incredibly challenging. Not because those words are hard to find, but because when I think about you, I have so many incredible emotions that rush through my heart. It seems unfair to only be able to put a few of them down on paper. My sweet brain and John, words can't describe the joy I'm feeling right now, but I'm going to try. The memories from the night we met six and a half years ago will forever be imprinted on my heart. Although I was just 16 years old, I immediately knew that there was something special between the two of us. I am eternally grateful to have found my forever love so young. Absolutely beautiful. Everything blew my expectations. Oh. You're perfect in every way of the word from the moment we first met, literally in the driveway, right over there, <laughs> listening to Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I always knew you were the one, the person I have always dreamed about having by my side. I am so thankful JR introduced us together when we were just young teenagers, as you have been my best friend ever since. You showed and continue to show me a love and respect I never knew existed. And you brought me into a family that at the time I didn't know how much I needed. Every day you show me new reasons to swoon and fall in love with you all over again. But it's your silliness that leaves me gasping to catch my breath and your hysterical dance moves that make you the life of the party. You know what I'm talking about. And the way you sing Frank Sinatra and Sam Smith on our long drives home. This past year, with all the crazy obstacles we have had to jump through, you have worked endlessly to ensure our perfect day would come. Things have definitely been hard this year, but I need to. It's been a tough year. <laughs> Things have definitely been hard, but I need you to know, through anything, I will always be there for you. Even on the darkest of days, as you have always been for me, I can always count on you. Today I promise you this. I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sorrow. I will share in your dreams and support your goals. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding and speak to you with encouragement. Together, let's build a home filled with learning, laughter, 
and light shared with all who may live there. Let's be partners, friends, and lovers today and all of the days that follow. All that I am and all that I have, I offer to you in love and enjoy. From this day forward, I will love you and comfort you and hold you close. I will prize you above all others and remain faithful to you all of the days of our lives. From all the years together in the past till death do us part, I vow to always love, cherish, honor, and respect you. To unconditionally be there for you during the highs and the lows, through the laughs and the tears, through sickness and through health. And I promise to always give you more back rubs. <laughs> I love you more than you will ever know. I'm just glad for you guys. When I heard you guys got engaged, I teared up a little bit. Standing up there is very rough. I was pinching myself, so I didn't cry because I'm an emotional human being. Um, but yeah, just love you both. And I'm just very excited for you guys. And great day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. From being 16, 17 years old, sitting in our friend's basement and seeing Sophie with a bright, happy smile on her face say she was talking to someone named Brandon Marks from Plainfield. I can say she's had that same happy, bright smile on her face she did then for these last six years. And as her best friend, I can't thank you enough, Brandon, for keeping that same smile on her face. You have now given yourself to one another through solemn vows and the giving and receiving of rings in front of your friends and family. Whatever you've been doing over the years, you're doing it right. Your perseverance and love for one another is something to be admired and cherished. The growth that you have undergone and shown throughout your relationship will only make you stronger. So if you're ready, it is with the utmost joy that I use the power given to me by the internet to pronounce you husband and wife. Brandon, you may kiss your bride. Everyone, please help me in presenting for the first time, Brandon and Sophie Marks.